Hello everyone, Linda Israel here with day seven of the Junk Journal gift ideas. And today we're supposed to repurpose. The concept is something that you have maybe used during the Christmas season that is left over or may have gone in the trash after the Christmas season. Well, let's repurpose that and make something with it. And today I've chosen to repurpose a scrap of wrapping paper. This was left over from wrapping some gifts from last year. I do save those things. And I also have here some tags from clothing. My husband purchased some Ralph Lauren polos a while back. Man, this may have been from last year or maybe even New Year's Deep because because usually they have a half price sale and they'll half price the lowest price on the ticket. And so I saved these because I thought they were kind of cute. And I've got some digital images from Calico College and a few other things here. So let's get started. So to start with, I'm going to undo this. Basically, it's just got a little slip knot where this little piece was tied on. And what I want to do is I want to fill this in. So I'm going to grab a book page scrap that happens to be on my desk. And I've got a small hole punch. I think this one's like a half inch. And I'm going to put some distress inks on it. And this is going to become my new center embellishment. So I'll put just a drop of glue down here in the center because the little polo guy didn't fit my theme. And then I'll grab this book page and then just pop it in there. And that covers him up. I also have these little gemstones and they're old. And they're so old that the sticker backing popped off of them in the packaging. So what I'm going to do is try to grab one of those sticker backs. So I've got one of the stickers. Put it back on the gem like it's supposed to be. And then really press hard in the center. Push it down. And now I've got this little gem in here. So I'm going to set that aside for a moment. Now that I've got these tags here, what I want to do is cover them up. And I think what I want to do is kind of lay these out. I've got a notebook page. This is a page off of a, a junior legal notepad. So what I'll do is I want to glue these down onto this page so that I can cut them out and use them. So I think I'm going to glue it with this side up because the wrapping paper is thicker and I don't want this to shine through. So I'm just going to glue these down one at a time on this piece of paper. I did peel the sticker off a little bit because it was sticking off the edge and I didn't want it to do, be in the way. I'm going to flip this over and use my bone folder to kind of help spread that glue around a little bit. And then I'll use my scissors and then just trim this away from the page. I don't want to lose the hole that's in here, so I'm using my crop dial and I'll line this up and then repunch the holes in there. And it may be redundant to do this, but I just like kind of keeping the hole in about the same spot. All right, so now that I've got the notebook paper on one side, and now I'm going to turn over my wrapping paper and glue down. I'm looking at this. I think we'll just go... Let's see. Yeah, I want to go with the diamonds up and down. So I'm going to start in this corner and go that way. And then I'll trim this out from the wrapping paper. I'm actually throwing something away. <laughs> All right, so now I have these pieces papered. I'll punch the holes one more time. All right, and now let's apply some Distress Ink. So I've got Distress Ink Walnut Stain again. And I'm just going to go around all the edges. While I'm at it, I had a couple of pieces of paper here that I cut to be the same size as the tags. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply some Distress Inks to those as well. All right, so I've got all my pieces laid out here. I think what I want to do now is I'm going to flip these over and let's do some stamping on here. So I've got a couple of stamps out. I've got from the Festive Cube, two different stamps. I've got the little Christmas tree that kind of looks like a postage stamp. And then this one that looks like an ornament. And I want to stamp this one on here. 
So I'm going to stamp it Oh, over here on this corner. Oh, I'm stamping it with the wrong ink. I wanted to stamp it with the black archival ink. But it looks kind of cute with the distress ink, so we'll just go with it. I like it. And then for contrast, I'm going to use the archival ink, jet black, and stamp on this one. And I'm going to flip it over and stamp it again on the other side. All right, this is looking pretty cute. All right, so now I'm going to flip it back to this side. And I have these little Santa images from, because they're called Father Christmas from Calico Collage. And I thought these would be really cute on top of here. But I also want to add some trim. So I happen to have some of this eyelash trim left over from my Christmas Dream subscription box. So I'm just going to cut a couple little strips here. And then what I'll do is kind of position this to one side. And then I'm going to put glue on the backs of these little domino images and then trap that fiber between the tag and the domino image. And this is where, you know, an acrylic block comes in handy because you can just put it on top and it helps press it into place. It doesn't take very long for it to dry, but I'll give it just a moment. And what I need to do is punch holes in the add-on tags. So I'm just going to line it up to my one of my original tags here and then just use my hole punch and punch a hole. I like that. Okay. And then I'm going to use some more of these little gems. I'm just trying to use them up. I'm sure that you have little things like this in your stash as well. So I'm just trying to use them up. So I'm going to open this up here and grab some more of these sticky back gems. Okay, I'm thinking this is really cute. So I've got a string here. And what I want to do is alternate them. I think, yeah, maybe like this, 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 and this. So I've got all my tags and I'll just kind of line them up. And I'm going to take my wax linen thread as just a scrap of thread. So if you ever have a small hole that you're trying to put fibers through, this is a great tip. So I'm just going to poke it through each of these tags, which will make it easier to pull the fibers through. So I'm just pulling that through, and because it has this little button on the end, I'll just pull that through there, make it like a little slip knot. So now all of those are attached together. And then finally, I have a little jingle bell and a bullpen, some sequins, and beads, an extra. And we're going to take this and put it right through the top portion here. And that'll hang down. So now we've got this really cute tag booklet that you can use. You could, if you want, add more string to these and attach them to packages or put them inside a journal with a little note. Kind of go this way. What do you think? Is that pretty cute? Is that a good way to repurpose items like the uh, merchandise tags and wrapping paper? I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Of course, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Check the description box down below to links to the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, as well as the other members of the group that are participating in this video hop. Let's see, what else? No, I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. And again, if you have any comments or questions, use that comment box down below in the description box for any of the products like the digital images from Calco Collage. Y'all have a fabulous day and thank you so much for watching the series. Bye.